Hello Braves fans and welcome to another segment of New Braves on the Reservation. Today's guest is Lurlithia Jones from Memphis, Tennessee. How you doing today, Lurlithia? I'm good. How about you? I'm good. Lurlithia, talk about how um, you transitioned. How did you get here? Um, Jacquita Copeland, your new head coach, how did she recruit you uh, to get the all corn uh, for, the, for this upcoming volleyball season? Um, she saw me play at a tournament. It's called MLK in Memphis. And I guess when she saw me, she wanted me because she said she really saw something in me that she didn't see in most players. Like, I had a good attitude, a good hustle work ethic. Besides Coach Copeland, uh, what else, you know, inspired your decision to become a Lady Brave and play volleyball? Well, when I first met the team, the team was, like, real heartwarming. And then it was when she told me about being a student athlete first, a student first, then an athlete, I felt like... She, um, the teachers will help work with me as being an athlete. So I won't have no easy ends, but at the same time, I will get some help from the teachers. So my education will be helped in this whole situation. With only a week um, coming up for y'all first game next Saturday, the morning of the first home game for football, and there's a lot of excitement you know, about the football game, but pretty much you all are going to set the tone. How exciting is that to know that more than likely you'll have a lot of fans here, your first collegiate game, next Saturday at 11 o'clock? Uh, it feels wonderful. I love the fans. Like The louder the fans are, the better the team plays because we have that support, and it makes us all feel really good. They're hype, we get hype. What do you think the most thing you have to work on uh, each, each day going into the season and deeper off into the season to help the Lady Braves get to the playoffs, which they haven't been in a long time? What do you think you have to do as a player to get better and, and help the team get to that sweat tournament? Besides pushing myself, I have to push my team. We all need to work real hard. Like when I'm in the court, I gotta be there for my team. It's more than just me. So if, well, if I have to push my team, I will push my team. With with a lot of expectations of uh, on you and and some of the other young freshmen that Coach Copeland has on the team, as a group, what have y'all you know done together uh, these first this first week? as far as you know, figuring out what we have to do together to help ourselves and our team you know, win or reach that goal of winning the SWAT championship? Well, we come in, no matter how sore we are, no matter how tired we are, we give our all 150%, not 100%, our all to the last very string. We're always talking, pushing, we're loud. We um, do pretty good together. Now, so far, you all have just been practicing uh, two, three times a day, uh, getting some workout in, conditioning and lifting and, you know, getting on the court. Talk about next week when class actually starts. What do you have to do to yourself to set aside, you know, okay, not only do I have to be an athlete, but I also have to be a student. <clears throat> so how do you plan on, you know, combining all those things together to become a complete student athlete? I have to realize when it's school time, it's school time. I have to make time for both, for my work and for practice. When I'm studying, I'm studying. I'm not thinking about the game. When I'm in the court, I'm on the court to do better. Well, thank you, Lalithia, for joining us today. Uh, we really appreciate you coming out and, and having a little time. You know, we practice coming up real soon. And uh, we wish you the best uh, this upcoming season. Thank you. Anything you want to say for family back at home? I love my family. Can't wait to see y'all my first game. Really can't wait to see what my dad's going to wear. I'm very scared. <laughs> All right, Lulithia Jones, everyone, from Memphis, Tennessee. Welcome back, Braves fans. Our second guest for the day is freshman quarterback Tavares, TJ Johnson. TJ, how it going, man? I was doing good. Everything's good right now. TJ, man, you're coming in uh, as a third quarterback uh, behind, of course, John Gears and, and you know, redshirt freshman Lenore's Footman. Let's talk about, you know, how you plan on, um, you know, learning from these two guys who've been here a year plus and uh, what you plan to do, you know, try to see some playing time behind John and Lenore's. Um, as right now, uh, I'm still transitioning, trying to learn the playbook. So um, I, take it, I take my reps as I get them. Um, I try to learn from John and Foot. Um, I capitalize off their mistakes. Cause like coach tells them what they messed up on, and I listen to. So when I get in, I won't try to make the same mistake. So I mean, everything, everything is coming along fine. So uh, like I said, I'm just continue taking coaching from Coach McNair and John and Foot, and then as the reps come, then I just try to capitalize on. Them. Now your dad coached you, and he played at Alcorn. Uh, how much did he preach about Alcorn when it was time for you to, you know, make that decision to come to the reservation? Uh, honestly, I, um, it's funny because my ninth grade year, when I finished 
my first year of season, he told me that I was going to Alcorn. I used to tell him, no, nah. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, I ain't going to Alcorn. I used to always had a dream of going to like Clemson right. or Mississippi State. And it's just funny how I ended up at Alcorn. Um, I mean, I feel that it was the right decision for me, but um, it's just funny how I used to tell him I wasn't going to Alcorn. But um, it was all right. Now, TJ, from, from previous experience and listening to people talk about your high school career, you know, you have a little height advantage over uh, a lot of people, and you can use your legs pretty well as well as your arm. Let's talk about what, how do you plan to make that transition as well on the field while using your legs, though it's a different ball game now. It's a little faster, uh, it's a little more technique and a little more, you know, using your knowledge. So how do you as a player make that transition to the collegiate quarterback that you need to be? Um, in high school, like you said, it's very different. Um, as right now, I'm still learning the playbook, so when I learn the playbook, I'll be able to incorporate my own type of game. Um, right now, I'm adjusted to the speed. Um, I still get out of—I mean, I still get out of the pocket at practice and stuff. Um, so I think I'm gonna just like continue to be that type of pocket passer. But when the pass—I mean, when it breaks down, I can get out out of the pocket. So um, I mean. With with the running back, I mean with the with the run plays for the quarterback run plays, um, Coach Simmons does a good job of um, letting it letting it be open. So, like I said, I'm gonna just continue to be that pocket pass, and if anything breaks down, I can get out and use my legs without the running plays. With, with next week's game coming up, how do you feel you and your teammates are right now as far as preparing for that game uh, next Saturday against Virginia University of Lynchburg? Um, honestly, um, we coming around as a family. Um, I think we we are um, prepared to prepare to take on the task, and uh, we should come out. It should come out in our favor. But um, like Coach said the other day, um, we um, we practicing well enough to beat Virginia University. But as far as Southern Miss is kind of up with it, so we have to um, continue to pick up the pace and um, continue to come together. Get um, all those nicks, nicks, those nickname injuries out, out of the way. Uh, we gotta uh, finish. I mean complete those mistakes and like make them better. Uh, we got to go through practice with that mistake free. Um, I mean, we feeling good for the first game, but the second game we uh, had to pick up the intensity more. What, what is the most, uh, what is the, 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 the greatest challenge you have as a freshman quarterback, you know, besides the playbook and, and actually, actually, you know, when classes start next week, you know, how you plan on combining those two together to make sure that, you know, you stay on top of your game? Um, honestly, summer school was good to me because having the t I mean having practices and then being able to go to class, so I'm kind of adjusted to it. Um, school has never been a problem, so um, I'm always put school first, but then football comes second. Well, TJ, we appreciate your time. I know y'all gotta get to practice, and uh, we appreciate you joining us today on on the segment. And uh, you know, good luck on your season. All right, thank you. Tune in next week as we feature freshman volleyball player Kyler Menifee and freshman defensive tackle Michael Brooks. Go Braves.